What's up, guys? So today we are here with Sam Brockway. At Sam W. Brockway. <laughs> and we are learning all about working with travel agencies. It's the inescapable question that every travel photographer gets is how do you get paid to travel? There's a lot of ways you can get paid to travel, but what most people tend to think of is working for travel agencies. Uh, travel agencies tend to be uh, government funded at state, county, or even all the way down to city or town level, and they're just promoting people to come visit their areas. Step one, build your portfolio. If you're gonna work for travel agencies, is you need to make sure that you've already built your portfolio. There's so many resources at your fingertips that you can use, and many of them are even free. Uh, if you're posting your images to Instagram or 500px or even submitting to stock through Adobe, that's all something that you can use as a reference for a portfolio when you go to send your pitch. Uh, if you're looking to uh, do blog work, then you can build your portfolio up just through your own website. Just every time you travel, make sure that you're writing about it and you're writing in that blog and you're getting the reps for writing, but you're also getting work that you can submit as an example of what you can do when you send your pitch. Uh, if you hope to do video or blog work, get a YouTube channel started. Make sure that you're really sending out quality produced videos of all your travels and then you have something as an example when you go and try to do that professionally through a travel agency. Step two, the pitch. So when you go to send your pitch, uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to find the travel agency that you're hoping to look for. This can be a travel agency that's local, it can be in the nearest city to you, or it can be just be someplace that you are really interested in traveling to and have a great idea for. Uh, the first step, however, is you need to figure out who specifically to contact. Don't email just a general email account. Find the content manager, the social media director, or the exact person who you would be working for and send them a direct email. As you're uh, compiling your pitch, uh, make sure to take the time to familiar, familiarize yourself with the actual agency's work. Look at the blogs that they produce, look at the pictures that they post to Instagram, and try to find content gaps that you can help fill in. So when you're looking for content gaps, just try to find something that you think they're missing. For example, you really don't want to pitch Travel Wyoming uh, licensing photos of Old Faithful. Uh, another massive thing that you can do is try to anticipate things that could be coming up in their content calendar. For example, it's about to be Christmas. So if I'm hoping to license images to a travel agency right now, they might want to license images of snowy trees or Christmas lights in town. Um, and if you can get ahead of those things, that can get you on the board. The next thing you need to have when you're sending your travel pitch is your media kit. Uh, you need to know how much you're gonna charge for different services for your proposal. So finally, you're gonna go ahead and email your pitch. When you email, you're gonna start by first introducing yourself, uh, your work, your portfolio that you've already built, um, and uh, how you found them. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna do is explain what your actual project you're proposing is. Uh, you're gonna start with explaining the concept of it, uh, what the deliverables are going to be, and what your proposed timeline would be. And then finally, uh, you're just going to give a little bit of uh, information about why are you the person for this project. What about your experience or your brand or your personality makes you the person to do this project that will be the most valuable to them. So what I do personally with pricing is I wait until they respond to my potential pitch uh, before offering up any actual pricing structure because uh, the details of the project could change in, in our correspondence. And you might not hear back from some of your proposals and you might get turned down on some of your proposals, but the biggest thing is you just gotta keep sending them out and you gotta keep being really targeted with exactly the proposals you're sending out because that's gonna give you the best chance to pick up a project. Step three, get your shots. So you've gotten your contract, you've got your project going, uh, now you need to go out and get your photos. There's some tips that are specific to travel and tourism photography that I would like to offer up. Uh, the first thing is, is you really want to create a shot list of what your goals are so you're not just going in and wandering around and trying to make it up as you go. Uh, and I would plan some of your locations ahead of time by using Google Maps and satellite images and uh, just researching uh, general locations as much as you can. Um, and the second thing is, uh, if you're hoping to uh, license images, then you do really kind of want to follow some basic commercial photography uh, standards. 
You want to make sure that you're roughly using the rule of thirds. You want to make sure that you're uh, absolutely crystal clear, sharp focus, and you're shooting with settings that aren't going to give you a bunch of noise because those will be images that you can't sell. As much as possible when you're planning out your shots, try to make sure that you're getting most of them added around uh, golden hour. Most tourism agencies would really like to have nice, rich, warm, inviting colors when they're doing their marketing. And uh, so when you're shooting midday or at blue hour, some of those subdued tones are not really going to be what they're looking for. Uh, and if you're doing any blog work or video work or anything where you're doing shots with people in them, uh, make sure that you guys are actually out and having fun because then it's going to look like you're having fun and then people are going to go want to visit that place. Uh, when you do people photos, uh, you really want to shy away from the really overly posed and dramatic high fashion model poses and really steer more towards uh, candid and laughing and lounging and some of those more comfortable feelings. Step four. Deliver. So you went out, you crushed it, you got the photos you wanted. Now the last step is to deliver, and you have to deliver everything on time. I would even err on uh, getting everything in early so you can make any changes you might need to, and then they're gonna get their post up, and I want you to promote it. I want you to make sure that your post does well so they wanna hire you again and other people wanna hire you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thanks, Sam, for all your tips, your insights. If you guys have any questions about adventure photography, um, throw them in the comments and Sam or we'll get back to you. We're going to be picking three winners to win a $100 gift card from the comments. So, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time on AOV to the point.